everybody, I'm James and Chenef. And now, uh, yesterday, uh, just finished tournament European and US Chess Championship. And yeah, so now I want to analyze games from round one to round three. And okay, first I want to show you all players and start, uh, like finish. So, uh, first it is, I want, to, yeah, I will say names until top 10, but I'll show like like this, all players. So first it is, as I believe, Jahandar, 8 out of 9. Then it is Simon Jakob from Poland. Yeah, as I believe, Jahandar is from Azerbaijan. Then Simon Jakob from Poland. 8 with a half point. Then third, Samanian, a Kermaster Samanianka figure from Ukraine, 7 points. Uh, fourth, me also 7 points, but little bit lower half, <laughs> lower tie breaks. Uh, then fifth, Bilavsky Artem from Belarus, seven points. Then sixth, Fidomaster Vetohin Sala uh, from Russia, six with a half points. Then seventh, Magolt Philip, six with a half points from Romania. Romania, I guess. And eighth, German of Georges from Latvia, six with a half, uh, six with a half points. Ninth, Kenmaster Selik Hassan Hussein, six with a half points. And tenth, uh, one Mettenheim Johannes, he's from Germany, six with a half points. Now I will scroll all players who played. Uh -huh. Only seventy. All right, so that's all who played in the tournament. Under twelve, there was like categories under wait, well, under fourteen, under sixteen, and under eighteen. Now let's analyze my first round game. It was against Borg Nicholas Nicholas Borg. Uh, okay, now let's check his Peter profile. He's from Luxembourg, as we can see, two thousand eight here. So he's in Luxembourg from all players 288 from active players 170 second from in world it is 258,571 and we saw an active only 99,505 and in Europe uh, from active players is 76,035 place. So he has rating in standard 1427 and in rapid um, 1600 blitz, he don't have rating in there. So, individual calculations, let's check. So, he opened, whoops, it was too much. Uh, he opened his rapid rating in, in okay, in France, in, in October, no, yes, it's September of 2019. So, there was some, I guess it was chilling in the run because really no many guys from here yeah and he opened his classical also in the France okay there's only four games but all right and last tournament he played in repetent in classical wait but he opened classical earlier don't you no he didn't it's strange like okay yeah he got rated minus okay and then in rapid also in three three Sanga France and mm -hmm. 3 with a half point plus 52, nice. And this is class, yeah, classical free, also in France. Vandu, Vandu, ever, less Nancy, plus 19, also nice. So there's openers like from Lex Luxembourg, France, and Belgium. Okay, so yeah. So in classical, it, like minus and then you come up, but in rapid, all. all Tournament he plays, he come up. So let's analyze this game on the chess first. Then I'll analyze it on chess.com, and then I analyze it in chess base fifteen. He finished in total on on thirty fifth place with five points out of nine possible. Nice. And also, I forgot one thing. This is my profile. That's the old bears I played, and this stuff. Okay, so I hope you saw every, everyone, and yep, yeah, let's, let's come back, let's analyze the game. Uh, d4, knight f6, let's come down, so yeah, it's, okay. 
So it was 1-1 one, one nil for me and 3-1-1 one, one for him. So we played some kind of... Wait for that. Some kind of... Not old Indian, I forgot. New Indian defense. No, Queens. Okay, classical tradition. Okay. So this C takes D. Yeah, Queen C2. I, 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 when I play C takes D, I saw here 95 so looks quite interesting too. But on this thing, I don't like in 95 that he has like 97 and I don't see a big plan how I can do. But I decided to play C takes D. Here I was surprised when he played knight d5, I saw e takes d, and then he's play like, whatever, like bishop f4, then knight bd7, or c5, yeah, knight bd7, and here after, it was like rook c1, he's, seems for, I mean, c6, it's some kind of Karls, but seems fine for him, because I was, to be honest, I was really surprised when he played c takes d, and I think then he played knight d5, because after that, then this, and then here I also saw e takes d, he'll do. But he played bishop d5, queen c2. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe also not the best move, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 5 seems so fine here, and knight d7 or knight c6. So he's prevented me to play e4, and that seems really nice for him. But after knight c6, it allowed me e4. And if he, he cannot move his bishop, so only move for him is knight b4. There's no other way because otherwise he just lost a minor piece. So knight b4. If I play queen e2, then e2, a2 might hang. So I don't really want to give a pawn away. So I decide to play queen b1. That's only move. Otherwise, on e4 can hang, and also on a2 can hang. So. I decided to not give my pawn away. <laughs> okay, queen b1, bishop c4, he's attacking my rook, and if I play rook e1, then bye bye to my queen after bishop d3. So, I played rook d1, protecting my rook and saving my queen also. Then he played c5. Uh, I cannot chop this pawn because then on d1 will hang. So, we say it's bishop f4 his first line on ID5, but I didn't really like bishop f4 because yeah, bishop e2, this, 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 and c takes d. Here I, it says it's equal, but I don't really like it. So I decided to not give pawn, and I don't really like this two minor, oops, this two minor piece he had, and I want to have nice active pieces by my own, and <laughs> I don't want to have his active pieces, so I decided to play a3, 95 was interesting too. But I don't see any like this, this, and I don't see anything nice, really nice for me. So I decided to play a3, knight c6. Bishop e2 was the best. So here I'll have uh, like not so many things, just the extra pawn, but he have a nice compensation. And that should be okay because then knight b3, or here he can just chop this, this, this. I mean, bishop b4 is not nice of... Oh, knight is hanging, oops. <laughs> okay, rook b8, but then here this pawn hangs and this stuff. d5 is not the best, I need queen c2. Knight a5. Knight a5, yeah, if he does this, then it can be or d5. d5, d takes c can be queen a4, and everything seems fine for me. Uh, I played d5, yeah, but if I played queen c2, then knight a5 is the best move for him, d takes c. This... This, this, rook a8, rook a8, I'm here right for pawn, but still it's quite okay for opponent, yeah. So this, knight a5 is blind, but so c takes d, b3, here he's not better, bishop a6 is not nice, but this nice, this, queen, c8, and it's equal, he can hold. But after knight a5, his idea was knight b3, but he didn't see one thing, that d6 is something, it's a nice move. So if you chop bishop d6, then I can do e5 and then chop on d6 on h5. But then he played, but he played knight b3. Here, of course, I cannot chop because then it's checkmate in three. Uh, so I decide to play bishop f4 and protecting my pawn on d6. His bishop is hanging and I can do rook a2 also. Here he could have played bishop f6, but that's not given any. And it's nice for him because I chop, I just chop this, and in my calculations I go to this position, and here I just saw I'll play. I don't even count. I say I don't even think I will play knight f takes g. I saw I just didn't see this move to be honest, but I saw knight e5. Here it's hanging. 
So he have to move his bishop here, he's hanging, still at xg, so many sins uh, is threatening. So bishop d6 is not nice, I can just chop his rook and I'm winning. But he played knight e1, d takes e, he takes f idea or this stuff, or a1 hang, so here he just we're down a minor piece, and for me it was realization part, but I'll not skip it now. Just show you. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, Rook of 8 was better, Queen e4 here. I'm I'm still like Bishop, but he has like two pawns compensation. I know that's not enough, but still <laughs> better than nothing. So Rook d2, um, Bishop d6 was better, so I, I get to something like this in my calculations, but don't really see if I find. I mean, I don't saw that it's plus 7 and 5 and 1 h. I saw, I saw that it's just like small advantage 2, 3, 2, plus 2, plus 3, because I mean, I don't saw that it's so huge. So, rook d2, knight c2, business rook f8. Yeah, I mean, it was like this. So, queen e1, if queen e4, then I have knight d4. And yeah, we can go with this, but still, <laughs> still does not. Looks nice for him, but after knight c2, rook f8 was best, but still, I'm completely winning here. And yeah, so bishop d6 this, and then here I decide to trade off rooks c4. He's protecting bishop, but I still chopped. I just wanted queen d1. Here, some tricks like bishop e5, he cannot chop because of queen d8. Mm -hmm. Bishop c3, b4. Yeah, here I saw he'll do this, but. Here it was quite a nice trick, I saw that here, this, this I just have bishop d1 at the end, and then I get this pawn and I will win. But he played a4, this, 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 and here it seems like, oh no, you blundered. I, yeah, I also saw first time I saw him, they think, okay, okay, let's play with, bishop c2 is even worse than, oof. Yeah, so okay, let's play just with like a upper pawn. But then I saw that I have. I mean, okay, <laughs> if I did see it, I will not come to bishop d1. But yeah, okay, so here's this queen d6 move. So if you chop with queens and queen e6, king f8, queen f7, king h8, queen e8, queen g8. If he do knight c3, then bishop e6, and then I chop queen or I chop. Yeah, <laughs> or I chop queen or I checkmate him. Yeah, or. If he do like king of stones, then bishop be 2 This knight is just stuck there. And then he just, I don't know, was it a queen blunder? It was a trap, but there was no pre moves on the side we were playing on. So I didn't pre move, of course. And then here, with just down a queen, we we'll stop him to defense and then checkmate. Okay, so now let's go to Chesco. And there I had. 96 accuracy and he had 82.4. They don't brilliant for each of us. 30 best move for me, 22 for him, 3 excellent for him, 6 for me, 6 good move for each of us, 8 move, book move for me, 7 for him, 1 mean accuracy for me, 3 for him, 3 mistakes for each of us, 0 blunder for me, 1 for him, and 0 miss wins for each of us. Okay, so Alicia said, Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's alive. So Liches says it is 1-1 one, one nil for me, 3-1-1 one, one for him. Oh. And here it says 1-3 nil for me. And 3-3-1 three, three, for him. And here it's 3-1-1. One, one. So a little bit other way around. So, okay, let's analyze the game. So it's book, book. Yeah, everything was book. I guess this 95. Excellent, it takes this the best. It takes this same as still like a book move. Uh, okay, so yeah, 95, excellent. But excellent is worse than best, so it's not the best, it's still excellent. And it takes the, yeah, I saw because many time ago I played something like this, uh, this and then. It was it takes D and Carl's Bot, like C6, something like Carl's Bot. But okay, this. Yeah, f5, I mean, if I was with blacks, I will play just, I mean, <laughs> I didn't play with blacks, so I have no idea what I will do, but I will, I will see more of this, uh, oops, then bishop b7 and then c5. Yeah, because, I don't know, f5 seems very strange. Because f5, yeah, I mean, that seems logical, you don't allow e4. But here I just get a pawn and I'm just slowly because low advantage. That seems like a close to a draw. Oh, but okay, knight c6. 
Yet second say it's not nice because it allows this and bishop c4 best, but still he had something like that. Knight a6. And that seems better because I have this d take c or d5 ideas and yeah, I'll do some kind of breakthrough or something like this. And if you do this and just this and I can do knight b5, knight d6, I can do everything I want. Okay, this d5. Yes, that's of course a mistake. You just have to chop b3. And that's equal, but after d6. Again, if you didn't come to stream before, then I say I say one more time. Bishop f6 is really nice for me after this. And wait, okay, knight b3, I can just chop. Knight a1, just play f g, and I'm winning. But yeah, I saw just to play knight e5 here. Here it hangs, here knight c6, right? After it's g, a8 hangs, so knight one hangs. Everything is hanging for opponents, so everything close to everything is winning here. And if you do this, and I can just do this, and then bishop f3, bishop f3, bishop e5. I mean, <laughs> this is hanging forever, and this is hanging forever. So, yeah. Okay, he played knight b3, um, bishop f4, uh, knight e1. If he played bishop f6 here, then e5, this, this. And knight b3, I saw right, play knight e5, and I'm completely winning. Uh, but even if you do queen f6, I mean, just, just play queen a1, and I'm winning. And if you do, wait, yeah, bishop e2, then just d takes f and completely winning. Even with these three pieces, I'm completely winning. F takes g, king g7, knight 85 Even with two pieces for two rooks, I'm completely dominating. Queen g4, bishop h6 idea, he's, here is hanging, here is hanging. <laughs> Even I can just get material back. Then d7, h6, threads, everything threads and hangs. And, so it's not really nice position for opponent. And then... Yeah, okay, here were some mistakes. Doesn't really matter here. I played bishop f3 to idea queen d1 trade of queens and then win easily. <laughs> Just when it's no queens, it's easier to win. Then this, he put my bishop b4. This, if you played b4 here, then I can just chop this, this. Queen c1, king g2, queen b2, bishop g1, and I'll get just b3 pawn and time. Um, perfect. Uh, after he played a3, then I have this, and knight b1, I have queen d6. So queen c3, queen e6, and I have this, this, or this, this, or queen e8. Yeah. Uh, and if he did knight c3, then bishop e6, and I'm trapping this, or queen e6, this, still winning. Or, 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 like what he did in, in games is, but here he just planted queen in completely losing position because his knight uh, will have fell off board really soon. But here I was just like queen up and bishop up and okay, then here it was a uh, checkmate. So now let's analyze this game in chess base 15. So first game was really, really successful for me as far as, <laughs> so yeah d4 okay let's get started okay yeah it was queen's indian old main line i mean this is not old i guess it's new indian called i mean uh old indian it's called this this e4 g6 and then bishop g7 okay <laughs> okay stockfish says everything's fine here it starts to be not fine this is a big mistake you have to play, ouch, f5, this variation, f5 is the best, so he's holding for this square, and yeah, so he can put bishop there, and also some ideas with putting knight here, or something like this, like this, 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 also his idea, or just to place this, 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 a knight to d5, and he's fine, so yeah. That was first mistake, f5, and he's fine. e4, this, so okay, queen e2 is not nice because bishop a2 and b3, bishop b3, but I mean, I give two pawns, so if he says I'm okay, but I don't really enjoy the position. I mean, okay, and I say with compensation. So bishop c4, yeah, mm -hmm. that's the best line. Bishop b7 was interesting. Interesting, but not the I say necrosis is this 
B4 and White Badger because he's like a like ouch like all of his pieces is especially knight is really not nice. So Rook D1 C5 this. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that's inaccuracy. This was Queen H2 Queen C2. Oh, yo yo! <laughs> that was accident. Sorry. And I mean I'm slightly better, but still. And knight a5. Yeah, and this is just blunder. You have to do this. And here. Probably not this. Yeah, bishop f6, okay. Bishop f6. It's probably. Per no, not probably perfectly fine because this pawn will not go so far and it's equal. But yes, that's why it's a blunder because d6 is very, very strong move. So I cannot still chop on e7, but my idea is e5 here and then, like, I don't know, bishop f4 and then chop or something like this. So bishop f4. Now, um, so yes, yeah, that's a strong move. Um, this is okay. If he did this, then I can just do this and I'm completely winning because I will chop. One of not one, I'll chop his bishop. Ah, yeah, yeah, I do his clicks. Oh, yo, 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 am I clicking? Yeah, so if he plays with bishop f6, ah, what's a pawn? Come on, if this isn't just this, knight b3, okay, bishop b2, let's say he takes f this, and I'm completely winning here. f6, delete this. So bishop f4 is fine move. So if he plays bishop f6 here, then e5, this is, and I'm winning. But if if he do a knight a1 like he did in the game, then after in here I'm completely winning. I decide to trade off queens, trade off like everything because when there's no pieces, then it's easier to win. So b4, if a takes b here, and this. This is this is this is and I'm winning. So if he do yeah a4 bishop d1 a3 this here if he plays knight c3 then bishop e6 I'm winning. And if he do queen c3 and queen e6 and this is or this is. And after bishop b2, then he just won a queen, but that didn't really matter a lot. So, yeah, first round is finished. So, control s, okay, and that's finished. Now, le I guess I can close this, and yes, close, and this. So now I can close it's also my open video profile. And yeah, now it was second game. I played against Navoyan Gagik. He's from Armenia with I played with Blacks. So he has 19 9, classic ratings, 1715, the rapid rating 1721 blitz rating. He's 2009 rating, so uh, from I'll say from active players. From active players in Armenia, uh, in Armenia, he's one hundred. In Europe, he's twenty eight thousand seventies. And from active players in world, he's thirty four thousand six hundred thirty seven. So he opened his feeder rate in I'll say in all three categories. He opened his available. I uh, did probably when he opened it. Yeah. Aha. 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 I see. Mm -hmm, and it's available. Okay, available and available. Now let's open last tournament plate. Okay, so first is it's standard. That's when it was. No, no, no. Wait. This when he opened in your opinion? Yes, in two thousand seventeen, open under eight. So. So yeah, he play against Azarali Jahandar, he's a winner to in this tournament. And yeah, I guess it's Jeppy Kandre was playing here, then Verflef was playing, and then Liv Jahandar was playing, and I think that's all. And also he played in second year one. Open Dav Chan David, probably Akhanyan I mean is Fidemaster now I know. 
and all this stuff. So yeah, uh, Romania here when he played this European and just championship he got six points and he opened rating with 14, 63, and then he played tournament 14, 78. So, first tournament he played was with rating 1,115. He played winter 2017. He played with, it was in Armenia, so he played, oh, like all of them was in Armenian players, so he got four out of seven. Okay, so now it is rapid. He opened his rapid, no, it's, it's not open. No, okay, <laughs> there's not to say when it's, when he opened it in, okay, so he was playing in, in Minsk last year to, uh, all, on, on the 10, so, I don't know many guys, I guess I didn't hurt all of his opponents, but he got six out of nine, but just big minus on rating because it was high rating than all these guys. Then, uh, in Blitz, pro I guess first tournament, yeah, in Blitz, yeah, um, so he played in like Georgia uh, twice. So he get in first tournament 4 out of 8 and 4 out of 8. So in 1 plus 26 on rating, in 1 plus 180. So that's his results. Then it was last classical over the board tournament. It was in Armenia. <laughs> yeah, uh, he got. <coughs> Please excuse me, he got 5 out of 9 possible, plus 110 on ratings. It's very nice. He played with. Some title players, yep, Daftan or Sun, yes, so this is probably Daftan or two, right? Something like this. And she was last, uh huh, uh, rapid tournament. His last rapid tournament was Armenian Rapid Championship, of course, in <laughs> Armenia year one. Uh, wait, there, so there was two GMs, he lost to them, but still, then Woman Feed the Master, so that's result. But still plus 32 on rating, 42, that's nice. And his last blitz it was also in Minsk. Um, he got 7 out of 9, uh, plus 23 on rating. You can see the results uh, he had. And yeah, so yeah, now let's get started. So, and progress is like this. Okie dokie. Now let's, anal let's analyze our game. Opening, you can skip yeah, here. B5 was probably a little bit better than, slightly better than I did. Yeah, something like this. E5 is mistake with no castle. And yeah, I allowed D5, but then I do an E5. Yeah, I guess I spent around, more or less, around four minutes about this move and it was mistake. Yeah, just. Totally didn't see that he have queen g3, and here I'm just pawn down really bad position, even two pawns down, so I was lucky that he didn't find this move. Bishop b3 was inaccuracy. I guess probably he was, yeah, he, not, not I guess. I think he was okay with draw because after I played this, and he played bishop b3, and probably if I play queen e5, then he'll repeat or something like this, but I didn't want to draw. So bishop b3. Queen e7, this is... My idea, even if he shop on f6, then I'll put bishop on e5, and then I'll do bishop e6, and he can castle the shot. Ay, 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 I <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, then I will do castle and uh, king h8 and rook h8, so I'm perfect there. Or I can just do bishop e6, castle, and then bishop e5, so everything's fine. But we go, like, slowly we come into an endgame. Here I like my position more in this endgame, because... His bishop is just looking to his own pawn, and it <laughs> doesn't seem very nice. So we come to this endgame, he has many weaknesses, and his bishop still is not nice, as I told you, because many of his pawns is on square of the bishop. Knight c3 was mistake since knight h3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knight c3, c5, and a knight c2. But here I don't really enjoy this, and I don't know why. E5, king e6, and I'm just fine because I can just stop king e6 and I'm winning. So knight c3, uh, a5 he played, here it was draw for some time, but g3, c5 he had to play, and it's quite okay, but after knight e2, I have to play c5, and yeah, he have no no way to 
comes through with his bishop, I can just play f6. And <laughs> he cannot take any pawn, and then just the knight can go to b3 like this. Yeah, and I'm perfectly fine. And b5 blunderbuss on bishop g4. Yeah, bishop g4, I get a pawn, but here he blockades everything, and here it seems like equal, because if I go with skin, and he can play king e4, and yeah, he gets something like, I don't know, king f6, king d4, and he gets control, or if I do nothing, then he also do nothing, and it's equal. But here, knight b4 is an active business before. Yeah, bishop d7 he had. I saw bishop c8, but bishop c8 at knight knight c6, of course, and I'm much better there. If bishop d7, then I play knight c2, this and this. He, I, he says I'm better, but still not winning. But Socrates says this, and it's slightly better for me over here. But after bishop e2, I had only one pawn, but here I get another one, and already I can say it took it easy, but I just start a little bit relax. And here it was a nervous moment for me. I saw like this, king g6. No, wait. I saw. What did I saw? I already forgot. Ah, here, yeah, after king g6, I saw, oh, f takes g, I mean, I'm better, I'm meaning, but still it's very tough to win. So I saw, oh no, it's a drop. I can do b3, but okay, now he choose 94, so I'll get his pawn, he did this, and after here he resigned, because 93 b1 is unstoppable. And that's something like this. <laughs> okay, so let's flip a board, I guess. Flipboard here. Let's reset new analysis. Flipboard. There it is. So accuracy 94.4 for him, 95.4 for me. 37. Zero brilliant for each of us. 37 best move for him, 38 for me. Nine excellent for him, 10 for me. Six good move for him, nine for me. Six good move for uh, him, five for me. Five inaccuracy for him, one for me. One mistake for each of us. Zero blunders for each of us, and zero miswins for each of us. Okay, dokie, okay, dokie, dokie, okay. Okay, I forgot key moments in previous game. Ouch! It's not saved. But okay, <laughs> let's not forget it in here. Okay, so we don't have now. Chess comp says we don't have e five is good, but queen g three. He says after e takes seven, this, this. What? Yeah, I saw this. I guess I saw this in day today, and Leech's talk we said the same. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, okay, after f takes this, it's not the best, of course, but. Yeah, bishop e3 is good, because here he allows queen e7, and he's. <gasps> no! Hideously, <laughs> I always do it on keyboard. And there's this for like up, down, right, and left. And when you come, you come forward, you click right. And here I accidentally click on like scroll everything down. Ouch! But okay, bishop g5. Yeah, probably yeah. It's, that's why he was okay with draw. I mean, this position was one. So he saw maybe I'll do queen c5 and the green draw, but no. <coughs> bishop d6. So if this is and rook a d1 and bishop b 5 Queen e3, b5, and then bishop e6, and here I'm fine, or even castle, <laughs> everything is, ouch, so yeah, sounds like this, so if bishop e5, then, yeah, here it's fine, so here we slowly come to this endgame, that was more than comfortable endgame for me, because, he yeah, had this not nice bishop, and yeah. He mm. had yeah, this weak pawns as well. So it was everything fine. G3 next is on C5. Yeah, C5, and here is still like. It seems like equal, but still more or less weird. Okay, knight a2. Bishop b2. This one's bishop d7. And here, yeah, like, <laughs> like so question Leech said. And bishop e8 is in x not bishop b3, but over here I'll just like with skinny knight sometimes target e4 pawn and I can push with my knight and pawn. So I can push my pawn. B6 mistake in d4 was the best. That doesn't matter. I, there and there I'm winning. 
I guess I can skip the synacrosis and they appear I also saw like I'm bad sequel after King G6 because this King G5 I'm winning and there and there but still it was for me risk danger I saw oh no <laughs> it's a draw but then I saw knight e4 and then I'll just push my pawn to the queen and here he go up so let's check key moments <laughs> So it was quite nice and interesting game. Yeah, this pawn in e4 wasn't really nice because it was isolated like for for all game. So yeah. Should be seven. And I cannot play knight c6 because we should be six and I'm not in square of his pawn. Five. Yeah, so plus one eight for him one. <laughs> Wait, you get the same accuracy? What? You get the same accuracy, lol. Okay, now let's analyze this game only in chess base fifteen. I'll control F Alt F two and let's get started. So okay, probably B five more better, right? Let me see. Yeah, we should be four, probably. That's more popular. B5 is more popular. Hey. Yeah. This, and I can say knight f6, is the main line. Mm -hmm. So queen d3. This that's okay. Yeah, he figure out what he says is just an inaccuracy. So he, this was better. This should be seven. B3 white slightly better, but still close position. Everything can happen. <laughs> So f takes e is inaccuracy, or you can say Yeah, I just totally messed this move up. Uh, was the best this is but I found this is nice uh so is this nice move? This 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 I'm sure for rookie eight and after we should be five is slightly better, but still uh, queen e5 this, so here opener was okay with it, or repeat it one time, but I wasn't okay with it. So here, quite, com really, not quite, really comfortable, I come to the end game, um, with an advantage, because his bishop is bad, it's bad like for, <laughs> for, for all the game. King e5, that's a mistake. Yeah, he had c5, and after c5, he have a really giant chance to have a draw. Knight a2, I have to play this, this, this. Knight a2, bishop c2, knight c3, and king f3, knight b5. King g3, it's equal. Okay, knight a2 is one more mistake from me. I have to play c5, it's nice. Now this, this. H4, knight a4. And time. With very slow realization part. With very slow realization part. This. Wait, this. Better, better position, but still very tough to me. Yeah. So, uh huh. Just a second. Slightly 
better position, but still we'll talk to me. And this was just oh yeah, blunder. We had to play c5, game in here, and bishop g4, so knight to this, king d3, this, 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 king c4, and knight d8, king d3, and that same sequel. Seems e four. Wait, equal, equal, e equal. Equal six, not correct, but okay. E equal. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Seems drawish. That's better. <laughs> I know how to type drawish. Drawish. Okay, so C takes B and M. And it was just a matter of time. And in total I won. Thanks for the game to Nawayan Gagik. Here... Uh, yeah, I saw it not. <laughs> but uh, everything is win still. So 94 and yeah, that's the end of round number 2. Then yep, yeah, good game. So I can close this and I can close this. So, so now let's, uh, then it was game against, oh, okay, Gagi Knavoyan finished in total on 28th place, with 5 is a half points, then let's go on with, uh, let's, uh, not go, yeah, let's go on and finish on this game, it was against Scherler, Scherler Julius, he's 2008 here, he had, he is, whoa. In Switzerland, 676. From active players, I say only active players. Then, uh, in world, is 49,157, and in Europe, 39,343. So he had a rating of 1,809. So rating progress is like this, and then he come up. He'll come a little bit down, then come really up, then again up, little bit down, then up, and then like this, and again up, and yeah, and it finished. So, he started, uh -huh. so let's check, like, his last four tournaments, like first two, when he opened rating, when he had this stuff. So he opened rating in Swiss Championship of 2017 in Switzerland, of course. Uh, yep, so sit and he get performance 1331 and seems like he started with this rating. No, he started with 1461. So yes, I have no rapid and blitz rating, so that's why I'm in classic. So this tournament also in Zurich, Switzerland. So one out of five points. Then it is now during now in September and Okay, he played August, September, but it's like July and uh, August. So it was, let's start with August. In Davos Summer Open in Switzerland and in Switzerland on the 12th. So in Open he got 2 out of 4. He lost twice and he won twice. And in the Swiss Championship on the 12th he got... For four with half out of six, twenty-four on rating. That was his opponent, and yeah, and then it was also tournament in Switzerland. Played with CM, he drew it with him from Italy. Okay, and he got three out of five points and plus twenty-two on rating. Okay, so let's start to analyze this game. This game I lost, so yeah, let's get started. So knight of d7 was a little bit weird. But yeah, it's, it was, seems to be like something, something, there's no games left. B takes C, knight C5 this, A4, boom. Yeah, okay, so my goal is just like to put pressure on this one, and his goal is just try to hold. So here he was moving king back and forth, so probably he was fine with draw. I saw he don't see a five, but when <laughs> no, he saw it. Rook it to to a four. Okay, it was six to one for me and four nil nil for him. Oh, King G eight. This was f five. 
Yeah, and here when <laughs> queen h3 and f5, okay. Was fine for him. Yes, it's the best move. So knight c5 is not the best move for me. Knight d2 was slightly better. Bishop h6, this, and I saw this position, but I don't really like it after this. Bishop c2. I guess somewhere here. Wait, is it written here? Ah, yeah, yeah, I know. It's not just written, but somewhere around here, here offered me a draw, like probably on 28th move. But I decided to plan win because I had like plan, I was slowly preparing for this plan. So at late night c5, I saw everything is fine for me. And I guess it was fine. But bishop c2 is mistake with bishop of 1. So, and I saw bishop b 2 is nice, so I can put bishop on g4 to protect this square. Then rook c6 is this idea, and yeah, it seems fine. But after bishop c2, here rook c6 is fine, yeah. But after rook c6, he played queen g5, and my bishop might hang and all this stuff. So, and then his knight can jump, and then like knight b5, my queen will hang. So rook e1 was really not a nice move. Uh, I have to play queen e3, and I have to deal that I sacrificed, and I should play this end game. And not better, not not winning, but still better than losing. So queen d2, bishop a4, uh, knight a5, and rook eight was just like final mistake. I saw I have something, so I have b6, but he played very nice. And I saw, okay, here I got him, like queen h4, and I saw, okay, I have bishop c6, a8, and I can play for win on, uh, also. But then I says, when he played e3, it was not the best move, because it was bishop, bishop d7, but it doesn't give me anything. But then I saw probably he'll play e1, and then after this I can be lucky, this, and maybe he'll, let's see how to check, wait, I can play queen d5, d7. But okay, he just played rook f1, don't give me any chance, and here he just trade, promote another queen and yeah that's a checkmate wow 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 so then let's analyze this game on chesscom uh 67.7 .7 for me i guess and 95.6 for him a little brilliant for each of us 30 17 best move for me 31 for him 12 excellent for me 9 for him 8 good move for me 6 for him 7 good move for him, me 6 for him 3 necrosis for me 1 for him 2 mistakes for me 0 for him 0 blanche for each of us and 0 miss wins for each of us yep so there was some moments i didn't play best but as i was like some moments and <laughs> yeah okay here he takes d Still, everything's fine for me. Yeah, and this moment, like, not so many mistakes, but this three mistakes I did was really important. Yeah. You say it's plus two, plus two, but to be honest, when you're playing game, you don't really feel this plus two, and I also didn't feel it. So I played B takes C, I have to do knight H2, and then some at some point prepare F4, and seems like everything okay, like, we have something. Something's okay, something's not okay. Knight c5, this here, it was everything fine until here. So, Stockfish on chesscom says everything is fine, only even here it's fine. No inaccuracy, only inaccuracy was first, it's queen e3 better than rook c6, and also it was already blunder. What um, no, it's mistake, queen e3 also. And yeah, I have here have minor piece. I have one pawn, but this other pawn is double, so something like this. And then rook c8 was just a mistake. But, uh, let's lose just on spot because after this, here my queen is not in the game. And if I move rook, I have much more. So then queen of two. Then here, yeah, I saw okay, queen h4, this. but b takes a, so e3 is strong move. This and e2 is really nice, and d6 doesn't give me anything. So rook f1, I saw e1, but this, 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 but still he have rook f1, he's winning. But if he not do it, even if he not do it, I have d7, but then he's fine also there. But okay, king h2, this is. And yeah, then he chopped my rook, and we both protect, promoted queen, but yeah, but he checkmated me. Very nice game from opponent, so it was last book move. Uh, okay, he found only best, only good move. Yeah, rook a1 is mistake, I remember queen is way, everything is in it. And here it's d6. 
Ferit <laughs> I mean, okay, probably Stalker is saying seal chapter 36 or <laughs> what? Okay, Queen of 4. Ah, wait, he played it. <laughs> Fast. Queen E2. So, plus 10 and 9 for me in total, 78 and 6 accuracy for me, and plus 1, 7 for him, it's 97 and 3 for him in total. So, boom. Now let's control F, alt F2 once more, and let's analyze this game only in chess base 15. So it says it's not knight of d7, it's not inaccuracy. Ah, I see. That says it's okay. So it says b takes c is not the best, really not nice. It says also like on leeches knight h2 I had to do. And rook a8, knight g4, c takes b, a takes b. a5, knight a4, it. This is. And I'm better here. Yeah, close. Even close to winning. I'm up opponent, everything fine. But here I close position even more, so my only thing I can attack is this pawn. So I, I tried, yeah, it's a seven pawn, so I tried like to put all pieces to attack this pawn, but yeah. I also saw a plan like I can sacrifice knight on c5. Here he's somewhere of a draw for me, but I don't agree on that. I didn't want to draw, I won't play until the end. This. Um, here, no, I'll say that's inaccuracy. I had to do bishop e2, as only chess, bishop f8. Oh, yo, yo, when you play with queen, why not respawn? Isn't it logical for you? I don't know. <laughs> Rook a3, h5, queen e5, and it's sequel. <laughs> It's unclear, I'll say. Yeah, so I have chances, but after Bishop of Eight, that's mistake. So Queen E three, Rook C eight. This so yeah, I have this strong three pawns, and they probably could give me something, but I didn't use them. Best by best way, and here I like slightly better, but still. Hey, okay, Queen G five is a mistake. As Darkwish says here, Queen H four is the best. This is b3, king h2, rook d8, and after rook bd7, he's winning already. But okay, rook a1 is just one more mistake. But so queen e3, and I'm still uh, rook, King of one, king g seven, king e two. Still with compensation, I, I cannot say I'm better. I cannot say, but yeah, I, I'm worse but still compensation. And here, this just loses game on spawn. That one more mistake. Probably d six was best, but even after this, this, but I'm still like still winning. So and here, yeah, I just had. Um, let's see, rook of one. Nice. So, and yeah, so here it's checkmate and hero's game, Sherler Julius. Yeah, well, that was really, 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 very, very nice game from opponent. I didn't play it my best, of course, but he also played really nice. So, yeah, so yes, it's more for like all for today, but so Julius finished on 30th place. In total, with five points, I want to show you all my opponent's cards, how they played. So, this is Nicholas Borg, who I played in first round. In first, in first round, not fourth. In first. Then I can go for uh, Navajan Gagi from Armenia, and whom I played in second round. And I can go for Sherler Julius from Switzerland. Against whom I played in third round. Okay, and for the end of the stream, I just want to to solve three puzzles on leeches. Wait, I think I had this puzzle. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I have the same puzzle. 
No, it's only Placebo. Ooh. Okay, but only here it's pawn on d3 and, and pawn on e6, and there <laughs> it's no pawn on d3 and on e6, I see. <laughs> okay, so looks like knight d4 and bishop f6 is fine for me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I should protect it. So I guess knight d4, knight d5, rook h5. So I think everything is fine after this. Yes, it is. But only here, probably just bishop e7. Yep. Nice. Two puzzle solved. I eached. <laughs> I had really funny emojis. I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Don't leave that, please. <laughs> okay, um, 94. Or nine. Yeah, it seems like 94 is fine. 94 of queen d1 and knight e4. D takes, c takes the queen h4 or d takes the queen h4, queen f2, knight f3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems so. 94 then. Seems beautiful for me. <coughs> so probably knight g4. Okay, fine. Um what about C2? Wait, what first? C2 or we get one? Like, what's first? Chicken or egg? But here, what's first? Rook h1, c2? Or. <laughs> I guess c2 first. Because. If I do c2. Uh, if I do rook h1 first, then he can do king h1, c2, rook h7, king f8, rook h8, king e7, and rook c8. And he stopped me, so c2 first. And why is this? Okay, here I want to get checkmated, and king to e7. And here rook h1, and I have c1, and on a3 with check, I, I got. And I'll chop a3 with, on a3 with check. Solved. Okay, that will be a tough, tougher puzzle, but I'll try to solve it correctly. Okay. <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, rook d8, rook g7, king f. Eight, rook g8 checkmate. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> trappy, trappy puzzle. Probably f6 first. Because if rook d8, yeah. I see the sneaky rook g7, a g7, queen g7, and king of eight is this and queen h8. So yes, f6 first. Not f6. <laughs> oh, king g7. Uh, why not f6? Queen b5. Uh. Okay. F takes c, queen e6, king f8, or king. I mean, if king f8. King f8, knight d5, c takes d. I mean, f takes c, king f8 seems perfectly fine. I mean, f takes c is perfect, I think. And king f8, yeah. Again, tough puzzle. It's from the same game. But it's not. Yeah, it's not. Here it was. <laughs> just gonna leave it. X long. Yes, I, I saw it. some game from no. <laughs> but I remember this X locks X name. I don't know why. Here, let's start Russian. Let's solve this puzzle correctly.
Mm -hmm. Interesting. Rook c5. Rook c5, rook c8, rook c7. Rook c5, king of 7, rook c7, rook c7. B c and rook c4, a6. Rook c5 seems perfect. That's true. <laughs> I do rook c5. Puzzle failed. <laughs> Maybe it's rook e8, king of 7. <coughs> <clears throat> and then rook c8, and then rook c7. <laughs> I have no idea for now. I'm 90. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm 99 percent sure that's not correct because there's rook a5. And after I ah, okay. after rook c7, then this we take c and then rook a8, rook c8. Rook c5 seems correct, and rook c7, or rook c8, and rook c7. Three, two, one. Yeah? Oh, key to key, plus 13. So this nice and nice plus and rate note, I will uh, finish the stream. So yeah, please join us my team on Chess Special Club. Now my team is 183 members, and I'll be very, very much so. 17 more members, and I'll make the tournament 800 members, and I'll be very, very happy. And also, please join our club on Chess Com. Team Club, now club 114 members, and I'll be very, very much so. 86 more members, and maybe I'm not sure, but maybe I'll make tournament. <coughs> 200 members, so Con PC will be very happy. And yeah, so thank you all for following on chest on YouTube and Fish and usual. Please the like button and subscribe to me. Please come to and see you on the chest and come on chest comment. Just enjoy chest. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Just have fun. See you in Rossi. Cool.